Hello glorious souls and seekers of sacred knowledge. Welcome to the DIY Affiliates and Collective Soul Journey. Starting to understand the universe's frequencies and vibrations, do you want to become a more powerful manifester for sacred information, knowledge that can help you feed your soul? I want to first of all thank all of my new subscribers and my existing subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for liking my videos, watching my videos, leaving comments. I would not be able to get this message out without you. If you are new to this content, then please subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified of the next video that I am posting. And click the notification bell so you can connect with me and to help me to build a community of like-minded people. Are you going through an awakening or have you already gone through an awakening but you want to learn more information? And there are six stages of awakening and I've created a video for you. All you have to do is look in the top right hand corner. Are you part of an enlightened soul split into two or what people call the twin flame soul? Not sure what a twin flame is? Then I created a video just for you. The seven stages of the twin flame journey. And this is located in the top right hand corner. Is there a divine reason why you're listening to this video right now? And this is my life's purpose and my passion to help wake up you, the collective, or the other sleeping people and remember what your life's purpose is and I am going to be showing you an algorithm that I used for manifesting a desired outcome. This video I talk about the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome, finding out your soul's purpose and remembering the journey that your soul agreed to make. No matter how hard the journey was going to be, open up your heart chakra and start receive, receiving your abundance today. Learn how to get into the flow of awakening and the flow of abundance and start living in the age of Aquarius. To the flow, we use a very powerful 432 Hertz to manifest happiness miracles and remove the negative energy. Help to raise your vibration. This is a, pos a positive energy flow music. In your awakening, as you're going through the six stages of transmutation, understanding the energies and the frequencies and vibrations that are being created is very crucial to your success. If you are going through this intense process of awakening and working on raising and maintaining these higher frequencies. The earth is raising its own vibration and frequency and we are going to try to match that same vibration and frequency. We are going to try to align with the new frequency of this new earth. So I'm wondering now, what stage of awakening are you on? Can you share with others by leaving a comment underneath this video and maybe something you say might help somebody else? This is a disclaimer. I am not an expert. Everything I share with you is based on my own experience and research that I've done through books, videos, and online. This is why our thoughts, what we think, and the words we speak are so important to manifesting and creating our reality and the world we want to live in for ourselves and our children. But meditation is so important to be present in the now. If you have gone through an awakening, then your heart chakra has started to open more. Your third eye is opening and you will receive greater intuition and knowledge and wisdom to help you with your own life's journey and your life's purpose. So what I'm playing in the background now is the Tone Fa 639 Hertz and I want to help to connect relationships. This frequency will help you to, have a, to live in a more harmonious community, to have better harmonious interpersonal relationships. And this frequency will also help you at the cellular level to connect with your outer environment. We enhance your communication with the universe, but also create a vibration and frequency of tolerance and love. Through meditation, you can also use the 639 frequency to communicate with parallel worlds <coughs> or spiritual spheres. Your heart is starting to receive communication from what some people call the quantum field, other people call the universe. I call it the divine. To create the right energy, we must become the right energy. And I have discovered an algorithm 
that when used with the right vibrations and frequencies will help you on your own soul journey and through the awakening stage. I discovered this algorithm when I wrote my first book, WCO The Secret Agenda. It's a fiction book, but I used a lot of research and I used a lot of truths that I put in the book to make it seem like it's believable. I did a lot of research and found the truth hidden in plain sight. And so is the information in my book. I used the algorithm when I wrote my second book, A Newbie's Journey Through these, the Amazon Self-Publishing Jungle, a book that uses the algorithm to teach people how to self-publish their own book. After the both books were finished, I discovered the connection that I had to Dolores Cannon and her work, and especially the, the audiobook, The Three Waves of Volunteer and the New World. And this is what led me on my own soul journey that I am now on to be a teacher and to help the collective to awaken and discover their own soul journey. All of this happened because it started with understanding energy and frequencies and the roles that it played in our life where there were laws that govern the energies that we were creating around us, that we are living in, swimming in, driving in, being exposed to every moment of our life. Albert Einstein said, life is vibration. Everything in life is vibration. Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? Well, that means that these, uh, these atoms are in a constant state of motion. And depending on the speed of these atoms, things will appear as solid, liquid, or gas. So we live in a world of constant vibration and frequencies and energy. And this is what creates and forms our own personal experience and our perceptions of our reality. Perception is reality. Your perception is your reality. My perception is my reality. Mm -hmm. If we change our perception, we change our reality. Change the experience you are having in the 3D, which is our daily lives, by always thinking. We are always thinking. To not think about anything that is three-dimensional, such as your house, your car, your job, your family. How long is this video? Instead of having the thought, this is going to happen and that is going to happen, change the thought to, it's happening now. This is my reality. This is my now. Now you are on the path to mm -hmm. abundance. Now you are on the path to manifesting. Have these thoughts going on in your mind at all times. You are thinking. Try just being. It's different. It's not thinking. It's being. What do I mean by that? To forget everything. To forget about the past. Forget about the future and live in the now. In this moment. The mm -hmm. only thing that matters at this time is this moment. What do I mean when, we are, when I say we are thinking all the time, especially if you're thinking about money? If you're thinking about money or getting rich or living in a mansion or having billions in the bank, about doing this on a physical level, making a plan or getting the right education or promotion in a job or even being an entrepreneur and starting a business. This will all take time and this is linear time. But on your soul's journey, time does not exist. There is no past. There is no future. It's just this moment. In spirit time, we are living in all timelines at the same time. Our past at the same time. Our past, our present, and our future. We are in all timelines. And so something could happen in a split second that will change the way you feel for the rest of your life. Meditation is so important to be present in the now. If you have gone through an awakening, then your heart chakra has started to open more. Your third eye is opening and you will receive greater intuition and knowledge and wisdom. Be ready to open your mind to this knowledge. I will be going through all of the elements of the algorithm. You can skip to any place in the video by choosing any of the moments or timestamps. What is the algorithm of manifesting a desired outcome? In short form, it is 5-L-O-U plus B plus V plus F plus A equals M. So what does that mean? The algorithm uses five laws that govern universal energy. The same as we have laws that govern our physical outer world, 3D. These are ancient sacred laws that mostly have been forgotten, but are coming to light more and more each day. In effect in our life daily, every minute, every hour, every day. Minute after minute. So we are using 
only five of the laws that govern universal energy. There are more than 20, some say 80. I am talking about the energy of the universe, not the energy that you have in your body. And this energy is governed by certain laws. And most people don't, don't know this. If we are not aware of the rules or the laws that are governing these energies, then we are not at our full potential of creating and manifesting our outer life or our reality. Learning how to manifest and create our outer reality. And energy is a very big part of the creation process and everything starts with energy. Remember, energy is governed by laws, just like the laws that we have for the physical. Now, the laws for the fourth dimension and our inner reality are laws that we do not see and most people do not know about. So just picture in your mind that you are creating an energy signature to send out to the universe. And what's happening is the universe is getting this message and it's saying, okay, we're going to send you back exactly what you asked us for and more of it. Disclaimer. I cannot guarantee that the algorithm of manifesting a desired outcome will work for you. That is up to you and what signals and energy and messages that you are sending out to the universe. But I can say what you are creating in your inner reality is what is manifesting in your outer reality. Beginning of the shift from the 3D dense reality to the inner reality of the 4D to jumpstart the shift to the 5D new earth. So what will be the difference? As you are going through your awakening, as you are on your life's purpose and your life journey, and not all people are going to be on their life purpose or on their life journey. Not all people are going to resonate with this. If you are resonating with this, then this message is for you. So what do I mean by 5D? I mean, we are moving towards a different perspective. We are moving out of the first, the fear-based 3D reality to the open and loving and unconditional loving frequency of connectedness. The 3D dense reality is we are separated. We are not one and we are not connected. But in this new perspective, we will all be connected to everything and everyone in the universe. But when you are going through an awakening and you are also on your journey, you may feel a little lonely at first. But you have to remember that the souls that are around you are going to be making their own choices and their own decisions. Friends and your family are, are not waking up. Or there's a lot of more negative, low vibrational energy that's being directed towards you. And this is the reason why we need to know that there is the energy that's around us and there are laws that govern this energy that's around us. And we can create any energy, we can create any vibration, and we can create any frequency that's around us. And this is the message that we are sending out to the universe. Algorithm of manifesting only uses five of I, what I feel are the most important universal laws of energy. And this is the spiritual universal laws that govern the energy that we create around us. And in the algorithm, I only use five. So use the ancient sulfur shield tones and frequencies and chakra healing uh, for unblocking music that can be downloaded from an app in your Google Play Store or also on your iPhone. I use 639 hertz to open the heart chakra and 432 hertz to connect to the universal heartbeat of the universe. Main elements broken down to L, O, U, E, plus B, plus V, plus F, plus A equals manifesting. Is the five laws of universal energy plus believing, plus visualizing, plus feeling, plus action equals manifesting. Mm -hmm the very first element and we are going to tap into the very first law which is the law of divine oneness or some people say the law of oneness which says the interconnectedness of all things and even things that are beyond our senses every thought every action and event in some way is connected to anything and everything else so we are now connected you and I are now connected the oneness we are connected and we are now connected to everyone and everything nothing is separate you and I are now connected 
to the divine, to the source, to the universe, to the creator. You are now connected through me, through your energy and mine. We are now connected to the universe. Mm -hmm. The second element and the second law out of the five laws in the algorithm that we are going to tap in and evoke is the law of vibration. And this will help us to get on the right vibration and what we are sending out to the universe as part of the algorithm. The law of vibration is very important and we are living in this law and with this law on a daily basis. The second element, the law of vibration. So what is the secret law of vibration? The law of vibration states that everything in the universe is in a constant state of movement. We refer to these movements as vibrations and the speed and rate at which something vibrates is called its frequency. So here I'm giving off a lower frequency and here I'm giving off a higher frequency. The only difference between one object and another is the rate of its vibration. You can think of this as frequency or vibrational energy. Remember that your thoughts also have vibrational energy. We all have a specific vibrational frequency. We have the power to dictate the frequency of our own being by directing our own thoughts. We create our reality. In order to manifest anything, we first must match the vibration of what it is we're looking for. You will attract to yourself the energy that matches what you are sending out. This is our own individual energy signature. You will only attract vibrations that match up with your own vibrations. Check your vibration now. What is the frequency that you are vibrating at? And words such as, I want, I cannot, or angry words, jealous words, or envious words. This is what you are admitting, and this is called low vibrations. If you are creating guilt, or you are creating uh, shame for someone, you are creating low vibrations, and this is what you are sending out as your energy signature to the universe. Now, this, I, this is your intention that deep down inside, it all starts with an intention. Mm -hmm. And this is what you are throwing out to the universe. So now we are connected together in the universe and we are creating this energy around us. And I'll call this like an energy, uh, an energy ball. And the energy ball has the, uh, the intention. And we are now also emitting this out to the universe. And this is powerful. This is very powerful. And this is how some people have power over us in our life, by throwing their own thoughts and their own will at mm -hmm. us, meaning directing the energy towards a person, place, or thing, and infringing on somebody else's free will. And this is important. This is why free will is so important, and not to be influenced by anybody else's energy but your own, living under your own power and will, and that's what makes the word willpower. Mm -hmm. Frequency chart. And this chart will show you the low vibrational energies, the middle vibrational energies, and the high vibrational energies. And these are created by the emotions that we are feeling when we think these thoughts. So check your vibration. This is the frequency that you are creating this energy around you from your emotion. What is emotion? Energy in motion. This creates vibrational frequency of its own. Your thoughts are creating a frequency. So what is the frequency that you are sending out to the universe at this moment? Are you sending out lower vibrational frequencies of guilt, shame, grief, or fear? Or are you sending out higher vibrational frequencies of love, joy, peace, gratitude, and enlightenment? So if em emotion is energy, and this is the frequency that you are sending out, that you are vibrating at, this is what you're sending out to the universe. This is what you are creating 
through your inner reality to experience in your outer reality. So let's break it down. The thoughts that are coming into your mind create the emotion that you feel that has a vibrational frequency that's associated with it. So the different emotions that you feel, such as happiness and joy, are in the higher frequencies and other emotions such as sadness or shame guilt are in the other lower frequencies he's living in a three-dimensional world while trying to keep your vibration up so that you are sending the signal of love and above out to the universe as opposed to the lower frequency to always be in a wonderful great mood as opposed to a not so great mood but consider this being healthy, having a healthy mind, healthy thoughts will lead to a healthy body, which leads to a healthy spiritual awakening. So our thoughts carry vibrational frequencies, and then with an elevated emotion, which is a higher level on the energy frequency chart, in motion, this is what we are projecting out to the universe. So, you're going to raise your vibration thinking to yourself, how do I raise my vibration? Well, you look after your body, you eat healthy, you eat light foods, uh, you find something that feels good for you, and you do it. You are building a solid foundation and starting to become in alignment and raising your vibration on a daily basis through meditation. Focus your thoughts on love, joy, peace, gratitude, which will lead to the highest level of frequency and will also help you to feel happier, healthier, and more abundant. Creating this energy around you is the emotion, which is called the energy in, energy in motion, our own energetic vibration frequencies. And create your own meditation. Then you can approve, improve your ability to be able to regulate your emotion, to control your emotions. Let things go that don't serve you and don't serve your energy. And my suggestion is using the ancient sofa show tones and frequencies along with chakra opening meditation. And you can get this as a free app on your phone in which to be able to meditate, focusing on love, peace, joy, gratitude, and enlightenment. Which brings us into the third element, the law of attraction. So everybody and their brother have heard of the Law of Attraction. And there are so many videos out there. There are so many books that have been written. But did you know that the Law of Attraction is a spiritual belief? That positive or negative thoughts bring positive or negative experiences into a person's life. So simply put, the Law of Attraction says that our thoughts, actions, and behaviors will bring positive or negative experience and events into our life. So now we are connected with the law of divine oneness and we are creating uplifting and loving vibration resulting in a higher frequency signal, signal we are sending out to the universe. Remember, we are creating this energy around us and it is growing stronger. Now let's add the law of attraction and everything will all work together. But we are not finished in creating this energy around us. The next ele element is very important and cannot be forgotten. When we are creating an energy signature, a vibration and frequency, that we will be looking for the exact match to be sent back to us, the sender. What we are sending out, we are getting back. The next element is very important and should never be forgotten. It is one of the highest level of emotions. And remember, energy in motion, emotion. The next element is the law of gratitude. Gra being grateful falls on the same level as love and above. It is one of the highest vibrational frequencies you can be at. Gratitude mean means giving thanks from your heart. When you do this, the energy flows from your heart and activates certain responses either from other people as well as the universe. As an example, 
when you are totally grateful to a person for something they have done, the person will feel this energy and will also feel thankful and grateful and overjoyed. And what will they do? They'll want to give it to you back, but they will even give you more than what you have given them. When you sent out heartfelt thanks to the universe for the blessings you have received, the divine energy really lovingly responds by giving you even more blessings. When your heart feels gratitude and you are sending out this frequency, this is the key to abundance and it will unlock great resources, knowledge and wisdom of the universe. On the other side of the scale, with if you are judgmental or you criticize people and you don't feel gratitude towards people, you don't have an appreciation. This is unhealing. Genuine gratitude and appreciation heals. When you appreciate something and are grateful for it, you are focusing on it. And when you are, fo you are focusing on it, in it increases and multiplies. Having a grateful mind and trying to be the best version of yourself that you can be. When you are the best version of yourself that you can be, this is what you are putting out to the universe. And this is what energy you are giving out to other souls around you. So the law of gratitude, evoking and tapping into the law of gratitude is very, very important. Being grateful, being thankful. The next element is the law of cause and effect. This is a universal energy law that says for every cause there is an effect and every effect there is a cause. So you can picture the smallest lead to an action, another action, and that action leads to different effects such as you're, you're moving your hands through the air, causing molecules and the space around your hands to respond. So if everything that we do has a cause and an effect and another cause and effect and since all space is there we are in the same space as the universe single thing we do causes and effect and then another cause and effect karma is created karma is created by all causes and will have an effect on everything and anything within the universe which will then lead to further causes of other things and so the replication and duplication creates chain reaction of events continuing indefinitely. We are a karma generator so understanding this law is crucial that we are always generating good thoughts, good actions and good deeds. The ripple effect will continue to replicate and duplicate and create endless causes and effects in this lifetime and also carries on through the next li lifetime and the next lifetime after that. If as a generator of karma we are creating bad thoughts, bad actions and bad deeds, this will also carry on through this lifetime and the next and the next and the next until karma is worked out. This is a really sticky wicket because in the awakening and going through stage two, which I call the tower card energy and the nine of swords card energy or the dark night of the soul, where your soul is pulling up the traumas that have, that have the cause that was created by other people or events in your life. You are still feeling the cause and the effect of somebody else's action. If you're not familiar with awakening and the six stages, then watch the video to get more information located in the top right. Cause right now. My cause is in helping to awaken and you and I are creating a cause right now. My cause is helping to awake and shake up the collective and to give the sacred knowledge that a person needs to understand that there are laws of the universe that govern universal energy. Your cause is to learn this knowledge and whether you, whatever you generate after that, this is your own karma you are creating. The next element is to believe in yourself. And if you are on your soul journey, to believe in your soul journey. Our belief system that each one of us have, individually and as a collective, is the driving force behind manifesting what you desire into your life. The social programs and constructs that we have listened to and adhered to all of our life since childhood. I asked a friend, 
I called a friend on the phone just to ask a friend who was not into spirituality at all, who did not know anything about awakening or soul contracts or twin flames. I asked a friend, what makes you believe what you believe? And the bottom line was, I believe what I learned as a child and growing up and through the school systems and the religious organizations that my own parents belong to. And I followed my parents' example. And I have not really been given a reason not to believe what I do. If this is you, then your belief system is going to be shaking up and it will challenge the teachings, ideals that you have learnt all of your life that will be released. This is very challenging to you as a new person who is just waking up when the rest of your friends or your family may still be sleeping. They have their own soul contracts to fulfill and also their own free will. Never impose your will on others. So how do you start to believe that you can manifest something? And some people will say, manifest out of thin air. But that is not true because we live in a world of energy and there are laws that govern universal energy. When we learn, we learn how to invoke these and learn these laws, then manifesting will become second nature. But first we need to believe down to our core, to your very soul, that what you are manifesting is happening. The next element is visualizing. People say, I have to see it to believe it. Or I need to have experience of something before. Or it needs to be something tangible that I can wrap my head around. Well, that is all true. Well, how about creating a picture in your inner reality world, which is your mind, creating a memory of an image or a snapshot of what you desire that you can pull up at any time you want to put your awareness on it. This is called visualizing. Visualizing is to, to create and see something that has not happened yet, but be able to see this image or scene or story in detail and very specific. In manifestation, visualization allows you to emulate the experience of living in the now in this present moment, but experiencing future event. This is a profound practice to help to get you clear about what you want and begin vibrating at the frequency of what your desires are. Visualization helps our brain send a signal to our body to start reacting in a way consistent with the snapshots or memories or story that's in our head. We need to see our inner reality and tap into the 4D and increase our manifesting abilities. So how do you begin? You can start with closing your eyes and this will shut down the senses and start to use your inner reality eyes to see an image or start creating this memory or this story. Then take a mental snapshot and freeze the image and this will then knock it into out of your short term memory into your long term memory so you will be able to remember this as a memory. First of all, when you close your eyes and you shut everything out, where are you? What are you doing? Who are you with? Are you already on your soul journey? What do you see? Do you see in detail? Do you see the colors? Can you smell the smells? Can you hear sounds? Take your time and make sure you get every single detail you want in your snapshot or your memory, your story. And after you have this image, now put all of your awareness into this picture into this story, into this memory. And now it is time for the next element, feeling. Now it is time to feel the emotion of gratitude. Again, tapping into the law of gratitude and using the law of attraction to attract what you are sending out back to you. Feel as if your desired outcome has already happened. How do you feel? Do you feel grateful for the blessing that you have received from the universe? Happy and joyful, higher levels of frequency 
on the energy frequency chart unconditional love for oneself and other opening up your heart chakra and being put into the receiving mode how do you feel deep down in your core how do you feel how does you feel as a soul is this something that will feed your soul mission or is this something that will give you more abundance and preparation for your soul journey or are you just going to use the algorithm for manifesting to manifest something physical in your life you believe in the divine and are you on a divine mission if you are a twin flame for people who have heard about a twin flame but know nothing about it I've created a video just for you look to the top right to find the answers you seek now check yourself again how do you feel negative or positive what is the energy that you are creating with your thoughts and your feelings right now remember what you are telling yourself is the dominant belief if you are manifesting a wealthy abundant life and deep down you feel this is not going to happen I am fooling myself this is exactly what you are adding to your energy and this is what you are sending out to the universe and asking for the universe please give me more of what I just asked for even though you may be saying you are asking for these things deep down you are feeling this is not going to happen you're asking the universe to not send you anything to not give you any blessings but you will not have a wealthy abundant life you do not want to send this information this you do not want to send this energy and frequency to the universe because the universe will say this is what you asked for this is what you asked for I'm giving it to you and I'm even giving you more five times more this will lead into the the final element which is action do an action towards your desired outcome whether it's a goal whether it is di is discovering the knowledge of wisdom that you need for your soul journey whether it is for something physical do an action whether it is creating posts for social media or going to a special a gathering or just getting up to get a pen and paper do an action towards your desire it is most powerful to write it down and repeat what it is that you are putting your awareness on three times three times a day for three days now you have all the elements of the energy that you need all together and even though you have been emitting a signal through each of these elements all of the elements now together will be even more powerful than just one or two and this is where you get into your meditation where you combine all the elements in one quick moment and send out this energy to the universe asking for the exact same thing to be sent back to you get into the receiving heart mode by opening up your heart chakra with the 639 ancient sofa show frequency Anahata is this the fourth chakra energy center remember the algorithm which is the five laws of the universe plus believing plus visualizing plus feeling plus action to manifesting a desired outcome Thank you for watching this video if you are on your own soul journey then we have connected together if you have any questions about the algorithm for manifesting then leave me a comment i am thankful and grateful for all of my loyal subscribers and all of my new subscribers this is the first day of the rest mm -hmm. of your life enjoy it and start and start living, start living start in, in the now, the now. The now you in the next video.